Well, shalom, shalom. Uh, we're going to have a Bible study now. Uh, I'm going to ask Gerard to lead us in prayer. Mm, okay, uh, let's bow down and pray. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather here tonight and for the sake of your world. We humbly ask for your enlightenment and enlighten us through these Bible verses tonight and enable our minds to concentrate on your words. May every scripture enter our hearts and let us to praise and worship you. And Father, um, grant us your mercies, fill us with your grace, and teach every one of us to grow closer to you through this section. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you. Yes, uh, the, uh, the, uh, today is uh, September 6th, uh, it's a Friday night and uh, uh, it is after sunset and uh, so it is the, uh, the fourth of the uh, Hebrew month, Elul. And, um, you know, I have a, you know, a title said, uh, you know, what does God so love and uh, what does God so hate most, you know, uh, using the term, uh, the abominable, the abominable. So, um, you know, uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, get something uh, to know about, you know, our, our father in heavens, uh, you know, what he, um, like and uh, what he doesn't like. Amen. And uh, so uh, today's, uh, uh, we are using the parashat uh, soften, soften. And uh, what's the soften means? Well, soften uh, means uh, the, the judges. So uh, in the Old Testament time, you know, there is the uh, book of judges, uh, the book of judges. And um, so, you know, it's, um, it's uh the, you know exactly the word uh, soften, you know the uh the the word end with I am, I am uh actually means plural, you know I am uh, running this way, and uh, so you know that's why it's book of judges. I mean the judges, you know, uh, and uh but you know the uh, the term uh can actually come from the first words of the uh, Torah portion which uh, run from Deuteronomy chapter 16 to chapter 21. But, uh, you know, as uh, we talk about, you know, they somehow, you know, the, uh, the, the rabbi uh, of the Hebrew uh, uh, synagogues, uh, they, uh, they don't uh, get it from verse one. They, they like to select their own, you know, like, you know, like from verse 18, you know. So, uh, you know, that is, uh, uh, you know the word uh, they they uh, they get from uh, verse eighteen judges and officers uh, so da 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 you know so uh, you know apparently this um, uh, there are a few chapters sixteen you know to, to twenty one is um, a lot to do with the uh, the uh, L A W the uh, the law of Moses you know and uh, so you know the of course the uh, law of Moses uh, really is uh, the the law of God, you know, and uh, so, you know, we're going to uh, kind of uh, go into it, you know, uh, and, and then try to understand uh, some part of it. And uh, so I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask um, uh, Gerard to read for us uh, the first few verses uh, from verse 18 to uh, to uh, 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 the uh, next chapter, 17, verse 1. Okay. Judges and officers, shall thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God give thee, throughout thy tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. Just judgment. Thou shalt not waste judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift for a gift dot Dude, blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous, that which is 
all together, but shalt thou follow that thou may live and inherit the land which the Lord thy God give thee. Thou shalt not plant thee a grove of any tree near unto the altar of the Lord thy God, which thou shalt make thee. Neither shalt thou set thee up any image which the Lord thy God hate. Thou shalt not sacrifice unto the Lord thy God any bullock or sheep wherein is blemish or any evil favorness, for that is an abom abomination unto the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, yeah, this is the beginning of uh, uh, verses uh, of the uh, Torah portion that uh, they use, and uh, they would read it aloud or maybe even sing it, you know. Uh, but uh, you know, so uh, you know, let's uh, try to figure out, uh, you know, the, some some of the details, you know, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, one of the thing uh, is that, um, uh, you know, this this uh, this uh, uh, law uh, was uh, given that they are supposed to follow uh, the children of Israel, you know, uh, so they they may live and inherit the land. So in other words, uh, when they go into the promised land, you know, they are supposed to practice this. Uh, so you know, there's a lot of um, uh, specific details. You know, one of them is like verse twenty one. Uh, they are not supposed to uh, plant any trees or grow for trees uh, next to the altar. Next to the altar, uh, you know. In other words. Uh, the law, you know, have a very specific um, requirements on, um, you know, in the tabernacle or in the temple area, and uh, they are not supposed to have any trees next, you know, you know, additional to to what is uh, specified, and uh, so that's very, very interesting, you know, why, you know, why um, is a uh, uh, trees, uh, you know, something, uh, something wrong or something. You know, uh, even though they are natural, right? You know, trees are natural. You know, and uh, it also said, and uh, uh, thou shalt not set up any image. You know, apparently, uh, the Lord thy God hate. So you know, this is the second item that we we have. You know, uh, today in these uh, few verses, and the third one is uh, thou shalt not sacrifice any animals that have blemish of um or you know something that is uh, doesn't look good you know or maybe um uh, you know ugly or whatever you know and um, you know seems like you know uh that is uh, part of the uh you know requirement of the sacrifice you know so so those are kind of related to the uh, uh you know the old testament uh practice you know uh, in in their in their in their promised land in their land uh, that they 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 will give uh, they will be given you know uh, because at that time you know they are not in promised land yet and um, you know it, it won't happen until Moses died and uh, but apparently there are law you know that uh, it was instituted for the uh, for the children of Israel now so uh, you know the it's very odd you know that uh, talking about the trees you know the trees uh, are not to be uh, in, in the uh, you know the place of worship or something like that you know now uh, you said uh, uh, some some of those uh, uh, details in the Old Testament time you know that uh, that uh, the law uh, you know uh, Yahweh don't don't like that you know it turned out you know there's uh, there's uh, some some uh, real case real real example uh, yeah you know document in the Old Testament time. And here's what it is. And uh, it is in the book of Judges. It's in the book of Judges. Uh, and uh, apparently, uh, at that time, you know, they, uh, uh, you know, during the book of Judges time, you know, that uh, uh, there were a lot of um, 
uh, time the uh, the children of Israel turn away from God, and uh, and then uh, they end up uh, worship idols, and then one of the idol worshiping is the Baal worship, the Baal worship, and uh, turn out the 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 uh, one of the famous guy Gideon, Gideon, uh, you know he uh, he uh, actually was was from a uh, 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 idol worshiping family. And uh, so, you know, they were in uh, trouble because uh, the enemy is, um, uh, you know, uh, taking over uh, the, the land of Israel uh, because, you know, they turn away, you know, the, the children of Israel turn away from God. And uh, so they worship Baal. You know, in fact, uh, Gideon's uh, family were worshiper of Baal. So uh, this is uh, in the Book of Judges, uh, in uh, you know this uh, portion here, I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read for us, you know, the, on the uh, uh, the story of Gideon. Huh. Okay. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, "Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven year old, and throw down the." altar of Baal that thy father hath, and cut down the gold that is by it, and build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of his rock, of this rock, in the order the praise, and take the second bullock, and offer a burnt, a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grove, which thou shalt cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servants, and did as the Lord had said unto him. And so it was, because he feared, he feared his father's household and the men of the city, that he could not do it by day, that he did it by night. And when the men of the city rose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast down, and the grove was cut down, that was by it. And the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. Mm, thank you, thank you. So uh, in the worshiping uh, of uh, Baal, you know, the, the false god, uh, they set up altar and they also have, uh, uh, you know, those, uh, uh, you know, Asera, you know, Asera is uh, like a grove for trees, you know, grove for trees. And uh, you know they they uh, they put it uh, next to the altar to worship the idol, and uh, so it's not just the family. It turned out the whole city was like that, and and so this uh, wholesale idolatry, you know, is uh, the reason why uh, the law let the uh, enemy, the median like, uh, you know, uh, invade their country, in, invade their country, and they they were losing, uh, you know, uh, their their their. Their livelihood, you know, then they were so scared uh, about the the uh, enemy, you know, because uh, the enemy was so powerful, and uh, because you know the law was not on with them, but you know that this is there's a description about you know Gideon. Apparently, Gideon is not a, uh, you know, um, uh, very uh, uh, you know strong man. You know, he he's afraid of his uh, father's household. He's afraid of uh, the city, the, the whole city, you know, because the men of the city, they all worship idols. And, and uh, so, so the law actually uh, talked to him at, at night. And then, so the law told him, you know, uh, you know, uh, give him some strength and then told him to, to do, uh, you know, to uh, take care of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the altar the, the uh, altar to the uh, uh, idol and also chop down the Asera, Asera pole. The Asera pole are those trees uh, that grow, grow by the grove, you know, and uh, apparently the, those were some of those uh, practices uh, to worship idols in those days. Uh, well, you know, it's uh, it's uh, very odd, and uh, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what happened in the Old, Old Testament time. And uh, in the time of Book of Judges, <laughs> and uh, so it turned out, it turned out, you know, actually, any any trees can be used 
uh, for I idolatry. In fact, uh, there there a website you know that uh, suggests to you you know uh, well you know you you have a different kind of trees and then you know and then uh, by planting uh, those trees you know and then you they are they are holy to their religions and then you know so uh, a lot a lot of religion in the world you know they they are uh, they are. Uh, they have a uh, uh, the the worshiping or the using of the trees as a part of their uh, you know their idolatry, uh, so you know that's where they come from actually. Uh, well, of course, uh, in the in the in the Bible, there are actually two trees that are you know um uh you know uh, or special uh, uh spiritual uh, uh, uh dimensions. One of them is uh, in the uh, beginning of the Bible. In the beginning of the Bible, even though there are many plants, uh, many, you know, it's a garden of Eden. And uh, so there's uh, all kinds of um, uh, trees uh, of this world. But, you know, there's a special tree uh, and, and it is called the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Good and evil, that's the beginning of the, uh, the, 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 the part of the Bible. And um, you know, it's uh, it's turned out it is the uh, uh, in uh, 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 chapter two of uh, Genesis and uh, uh, verse seventeen. You know, that's the beginning of the the tree. Uh, you know, that are uh, of uh, importance of the whole uh, Bible story. But near the end, you know, at the last chapter, last chapter of the Bible, in the book of Revelation, uh, chapter twenty two. It also mentioned about the tree of life, tree of life. So there are two trees. So I'm going to ask Gerard to read uh, both uh, verse 17 of the chapter 2, uh, Genesis, and also uh, the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 22, verse 13 and 14. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eat thereof, thou shalt surely die tree of life. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do these commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter it through the gates into the city. Yes, thank you, thank you. Into the city, into the city uh, of New Jerusalem, into the everlasting life and to be with the Lord forever. Uh, you know, and and um, and uh, that is uh, uh you know that, that is the eternity, you know. So you know, tree of life, you know, at the end of the Bible, and tree of knowledge on good and evil, you know, is the tree of the L A W, tree of the L A W, you know, it's uh so um so uh, attractive, you know, because uh you know, uh, Eve was uh, tempted, uh, you know, to to eat of it because uh, the the fruit looked good, and then uh, and uh, and then uh, it's uh, supposed to be good for you, you know, and then uh, it gave you uh, the the pride, you know, that uh, you you can be like God, you know, so uh, you know those are uh, end up, you know, was the uh, temptation, the you know turn out the L A W is a uh, is a way. Uh, 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 bringing uh, you know the the evil conscience into man, you know, but you know the tree of life, you know that's promise, and uh, the Alpha and Omega, our Lord, uh, Christ Jesus, you know, um, you know he uh, he uh, you know and, and and bring us into the everlasting life, you know, uh, to to have the uh, you know uh, come into uh, to have a right to the tree of life. And uh, to to uh, to uh, enter into the eternity with our Lord Jesus. So um, so uh, there's there's uh, you know that is how you know the tree you know is presented in the in the whole Bible. Now so as Sarah Paul you know the uh, you know those uh, uh, Old Testament time when when they worship idols, uh, the Baal you know um, uh, the, the in the Book of Judges and uh, other times. Uh, you know, it uh, it turned out, uh, you know, in the in the Middle East, uh, they still have a uh, you know remnant of uh, remembrance of you know that Sarah Paul, you know. So uh, 
those Asera pole is, uh, you know, uh, they, they uh, in the Middle East, uh, they frequently put it uh, next to the tomb, tombstone, tomb uh, cemetery. And uh, like in Turkey, I'm, I'm going to show you. This is, uh, you know, a picture from uh, 1890s. Uh, you know, uh, one of those uh, Turkish uh, cemetery, you know. Yeah, you know, they claim that they don't no longer worship Baal, you know, they 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 have the, now their own religion, you know, so forth. But apparently uh, they, they are still, you know, doing, you know, these kind of things, you know, uh, next to the cemetery, you know, because a lot of time, you know, people, uh, yes, a part of their religious experience, uh, you know, cemetery, tombstone and all that, uh, you know, it's a part of their religion, a religious thing. And uh, so uh, they like to plant the acera pole, you know, it's kind, kind of like a tall tree like that, you know, those are kind of like a acera pole, you know. Uh, of course, uh, they they now no longer have the altar, you know, they no longer, but, you know, they have the tombstone, you know, which is kind of, uh, you know, uh, similar. And uh, so even in the local, local folklore, you know, like uh, the newspaper, they talk about, oh, yeah, the ancient time, you know, they, those are the uh, as Sarah Paul, you know, kind of thing, you know. So, so uh, this uh, the remnant of the religion, uh, from from ancient time. Uh, so uh, you know, this is not just one place, you know. Even though this is a photo from the eighteen nineties, uh, there's another one. This is a painting, painting of another Turkish uh, cemetery, uh, near Istanbul, Istanbul. And uh, so you see, you know, the, so they have all this uh, tombstone, you know, uh, you know, painted, uh, you know, uh, you know, brightly and so forth, you know, and then people, uh, you know, come to visit their tombstone, you know, their, 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 their uh, you know, uh, uh, ancestor or their families. And uh, they also have their, those kind of acera pole, you know, the tree. And uh, so, uh, you know, apparently that's a uh, part of, part of the, um, Actually, you know, I found that uh, kind of interesting because um, in uh, in America, even uh, though they are not supposed to be, uh, you know, um, uh, having that kind of thing, but uh, in the cemetery, they they like to plant these kind of trees, uh, you know, to accentuate their their religious uh, feelings, you know. So uh, apparently, you know, whether they know it or not, you know, that's part of the thing, and. Uh, so, but it's not just one religion, you know, religion of the world, they like to have trees, uh, you know, that uh, like to uh, bring on their religious, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, of man, you know, religions of man is like that. Uh, this one is uh, in Cambodia, in Angor, uh, Cambodia, you know, where they have uh, all, all these uh, 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 temples were abandoned um, many hundred years. And uh, this is one of those uh, temple tree, you know, that, uh, you know, so apparently, uh, you know, so so uh, uh, whatever religion, uh, a lot of time they like to use uh, living trees or, or big trees, you know, uh, you know, trees that uh, can impress, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the, the local people. And uh, so they, they use that uh, as a means to, uh, for worshiping uh, whoever, uh, the fairy or the the idols uh, in in their in their time. Uh, it's not just uh, other countries. Uh, even in Taiwan, you know, Taiwan, see, they set up a a a a, a, a you know uh, something here. You know, then uh, you know because the banyan tree, you know, is uh, so so uh, you know uh, huge and uh, so uh, impressive, and uh, so you know they they kind of think well maybe. Uh, uh, this uh, is a, a, a good place uh, to worship some local, uh, you know, um, you know, the uh, deities, you know, something like that. So uh, that's uh, very common, you know, uh, uh, of course, it's not just Taiwan, you know, even in China or in uh, um, Southeast Asia, in uh, all part of Asia, uh, you know, but it's not just uh, Asian, you know, the, but the uh, uh, Middle East, you know, and uh, Africa, you know. There's a lot of uh, indigenous uh, religions. Uh, this is another one, you know. And uh, so if the trees are tall, or maybe the trees is uh, all, uh, you know, special looking, you know, and uh, people uh, 
uh, you know, as a result, you know, they uh, they they would, uh, you know, there's uh, this uh, story last year that happened last year. It's a new story. What happened was there was this, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, Maui, you know, in Hawaii, Maui, there was a fire last year, you know. In fact, uh, it's about this time, you know, September, uh, August and September, you know, there was the fire. So what happened was, it turned out, you know, there was this uh, banyan tree, this banyan tree. Uh, it turned out the banyan tree survived. Actually, this is a church, you know, this is uh, one of those uh, ancient church uh, of the uh, Hawaiian, uh, you know, kingdom. Uh, it was uh, uh, built a uh, couple of times, you know, but uh, uh, last year when the, the, there was a fire in Maui, uh, this, uh, this uh, 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 you know, ancient church was burned, but, uh, but not the trees in the neighborhood, not the trees, especially the banyan tree. You know, there's a banyan tree uh, the last year, uh, you know, that was uh, very special. And this is uh, the picture, you know, from the, from the, uh, before the, uh, before the fire, you know, this, uh, this uh, uh, banyan tree was uh, placed right in front of the, uh, uh, the uh, courthouse, you know, the courthouse of, of the uh, Hawaiian uh, kingdom. Uh, you know, so, uh, so uh, you know, this uh, we're all, you know, because uh, actually it's not last week, it's uh, like last year, you know, this is the banyan tree that survived last year. And then if you look from uh, uh, the satellite, the satellite was uh, the whole city, uh, the ancient capital of the um, Hawaiian kingdom, La Hena is in the island of Maui. And uh, that was uh, all burned, you know, that uh, all the, all the uh, buildings, you know, uh, literally all the, uh, uh, you know, uh, buildings uh, block by block and street yeah. by street, you know, they, they were all burned, you know. Uh, you know, they were uncontrolled. There was no, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, mostly damaged and uh, burned. You know. And uh, this is uh, the, 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 you know, uh, GIS, uh, you know, counts, you know, talking about, oh, so what happened here? What happened here? You know, and, uh, you know, all those, uh, uh, you know, um, or, uh, original building, there was uh, survived a hundred some years. And then uh, they were all burned in one fire, one fire, you know. And uh, even though they are next to the ocean, they were next to the ocean, but uh, you know, essentially the whole uh, neighborhood, the whole uh, old capital, um, uh, you know, um, of the original kingdom, you know, uh, and uh, you know, they they were turned into uh, tourist, uh, you know, resort, but uh, they are all burned and uh, gone. And uh, so that was last year's. And then, but you know, the, so why, why do I bring up this uh, story? Well, what happened was, uh, you know, there's, um, there's uh, this uh, guy, you know, that was uh, associated <laughs> with, that, with that tree. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, about uh, uh, in uh, the year 1822, uh, it is the first uh, uh, batch of the uh, Protestant missionary arrived in Hawaii. 1822, and uh, so they try to uh, share the gospel and then try to convert the, the Hawaiian kingdom, you know, and the and the queen and uh, the many of the kingdom uh, people of the you know the local native, uh, you know, as a result was exposed to the gospel and then they they become Christians so to speak, but what happened is uh, there was this uh, son of the original uh, missionary couple. One of the couple, uh, you know, have a, a son. And then, so he was growing up, uh, you know, after, you know, uh, he, you know, he, and then he become a sheriff for the kingdom, you know, Hawaiian kingdom. And uh, so uh, this guy, this man, uh, worked for the kingdom. And then so uh, on 1873, which is the 50 years, uh, 50 years of the arrival of the Christian missionary anniversary, he planted that, that banyan tree, you know, the banyan tree that we talk about. So he was the sheriff, he worked for the queen of um, Hawaiian kingdom. 
uh, and his the sheriff, and then he planted, you know, on the 50 year, uh, year anniversary, that banyan tree. So that pan, banyan tree was, uh, 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 you know, from, from that year to last year is 150 years, 150 years. But, you know, this guy is uh, way odd, you know, um, even though he's a Christian or in fact, you know, he's a, uh, the, the son of a Christian missionaries. But, you know, he was uh, uh, in the conspiracy <coughs> in, uh, overturning the kingdom. You know, he, he worked for the queen, but uh, he actually uh, conspired with uh, a, a few people to uh, take over the kingdom. And then, um, you know, so uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the basically the, the islands uh, become the corporation of, uh, you know, United States and then end up, you know, the Hawaii become the, uh, the 50 uh, state of, you know, of, uh, of United States. <laughs> so, you know, he, he's, uh, he, he, he was, uh, you know, uh, he has that conspiracy, you know, he worked for the queen. And um, in fact, you know, uh, when the queen died later on, uh, he, he got uh, some of those uh, inheritance from the queen. But, you know, apparently, um, yeah, he was, uh, he, he was, uh, you know, uh, uh, evil doer, you know, so to speak, you know. Uh, so what happened was, as a result, last year, they have uh, another anniversary. The Banyan tree was 150 years old last, last year. But, you know, in August, uh, from August 8th to uh, September 3rd, you know, it burned uh, almost a whole month and uh, the whole neighborhood was burned, but the, not the Banyan tree. So uh, you know it's a uh, very weird, you know. So the uh the old uh the old church uh, did not survive, uh the banyan tree did, and uh the neighborhood was gone. Yeah. So uh, so uh, that's uh, what happened, you know. This uh you know uh, I know you know people say oh well you said spiritual or you said Bible. Well you know I just want to point out to you you know somehow you know the uh you know things that happen. Uh, you know, have um, a lot of, uh, you know, things uh, that, uh, you know, I cannot explain it, but, um, you know, I, I think, you know, there's a kind of reminder about, you know, the the, the affair of man, you know, and then uh, it, it's a, a kind of under the judgment, uh, you know, the watchful eyes on or heavens. Uh, you know, the the other thing uh, they were report, uh, they report last year was uh, according to Fox that, uh, Yes, the whole neighborhood was all burned, see, all, all these uh, uh, houses, uh, you know, uh, kind of store and uh, the resort, you know, was all burned. But uh, but uh, apparently the uh, uh, this uh, Catholic church survived, you know, they, uh, they think it's a miracle. But sadly, you know, they, this miracle have a lot of people die, you know, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not a good thing, you know, but the, but the church survived, you know, so what's that mean, you know? Okay, uh, let's move on and then we we might talk more about that. So, you know, uh, it is uh, rather strange that uh, in the in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, we, we did not read this, but uh, I think this is a good time to read about the chapter four, uh, the few verses about, you know, what is, what is um, uh, considered uh, uh, idolatry. Uh, the, uh, in chapter 4, the Ptolemy, uh from verse 15 to 19, please, uh, Gerard. Okay. <clears throat> Take ye therefore good, good heed unto yourselves, for ye saw no manner of sim similitude on the day that the Lord spoke unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire. Lest ye corrupt yourself and make you a graven image, the sim similitude, similitude of any figure, like the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged fowl that flies in the air, the likeness of any things that creep on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters, 
Benef dear, and least thou lift up thy eyes unto heaven, and when thou see the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the most of heaven, shouldest be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, you know, this is a uh, 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 recollection of uh, Moses, uh, uh, you know, about the time, you know, he, uh, he did uh, spend some time, went up to Mount Horeb, you know, Mount Sinai, you know, Horeb is uh, Mount Sinai. And uh, so, you know, he uh, remember and then he reminded the people, the children of Israel also that you see no, uh, uh, you know, um, pictures of, uh, you know, or figures of any kind of, uh, you know, uh, you know, similarity, <laughs> similarity, you know, it's like, you, you don't see, uh, when when you say, you know, the Lord is, uh, you know, up in uh, Mount Sinai, am uh, in the fire, or, or you know, when, when uh, you know, he was, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, in 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 the in the time, you know, uh, in contact with the Lord, that time, uh, there was no um, no nothing. Uh, you know, you don't see God uh, in in uh, any uh, you know um, shape or anything. You know, uh, in fact, uh, he did not see uh, uh, the face of God or something like that, even though he has a face. Uh, you don't you 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 they just all see the fire and smoke they just see the fire and smoke and the reason why the law uh you know did not uh, show anything to them is uh because uh if uh the law show uh you know say a person or 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 maybe a a giant uh you know uh you know uh, or whatever then uh, they would collapse themselves and think, you know, well, this is uh, how God should look like, you know, maybe a man or, or a, a woman or or an animal, you know, or, or, or a bird, you know, or maybe a, a dinosaur, you know, and uh, things that creep on ground, you know. And so in other words, the, the whole, whole idea, you know, is uh, yeah, actually the law, uh, Yahweh is a, is a spirit. And uh, spirit means uh, it's it's like a breath, you know. Uh, you you it's invisible, uh, you know, uh, to them. Uh, the Moses did not really see the, uh, you know, the the uh, the law, you know, in um uh, in um uh, you know in a uh, physical, uh, and and but you know of course you know the problem is uh, uh men like to imagine you know that uh they are carnal because uh they they are thinking of uh, fresh, uh, they they are thinking about the physical shape, size, and uh, uh, lightness, you know, and uh, so you know they they like to associate, and uh, that's the reason why, uh, you know, uh, they uh, when they worship uh, the golden calf, you know, they say, oh, this is the law that uh, bring us out from Egypt, you know. So in other words, they they like like to make up some uh, creation, some creatures. Uh, that represent God, and that's uh, how the world religions is like. You know, some uh, some uh, some religion uh, or some village, they uh, they they worship uh, the mouse, and some <coughs> village uh, yeah. they worship the monkey, and uh, some village uh, they worship the snakes. You know, and uh, you know uh, you know there's a uh, there are country like that. Yeah, you and uh, <laughs> so you know there there are there are you know. It's not like you know, uh, uh, you know, we we uh, we come up with that. You know, they, the the man's mind is uh, really uh, evil. You know that uh, they like to uh, lower, you know, the the creator into some uh, animals or some 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 uh, you know a, a man or a woman or you know, some you know. And uh, so a lot of religions, uh, you know, bring bring uh, you know their their creator God, you know, into into a lower lower being, you know, and uh, so, so, so they can, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 capture, you know, and and then uh, deal with it, you know, uh, in 
in uh, worshiping uh, those. And then not only that, you know, some, uh, they actually worship the sun or the heaven and the moon and the stars, you know, some, some actually worship them. And, uh, and then this is how the all nations, uh, uh, you know, and somehow, you know, um, uh, uh, do, do, you know, do, uh, doing that in the uh, Old Testament time, but even now, even now, you know, so, so, you know, that is the whole thing, you know, because our Lord, uh, our, our Lord God is uh, Yahweh, is a uh, spirit. It, it's like, you know, the spirit means, uh, uh, you know, in the, uh, you know, some of the uh, original term is like a breath, like Rima, you know, it's uh, like the air, air you cannot see, it's not visible. So it's not carnal, you know. Carnal is not uh, just about the the the, um, the desire of man, you know. It's uh, to do with the flesh. In other words, flesh, you know, like like uh, you know, in Spanish, uh, you know, uh, you you have uh, the the cow's meat, you know, the the steak is uh, carnitas or something like that, you know, carnal, you know. So you know, fresh, you know. So in other words, uh, you know, people think of. Uh, our religion is, uh, you know, have to have some physical representation. Physical, you know, is visible. Have to be visible. You know, have uh, they can imagine it. Then uh, that that is the religion for 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 them. So, and uh, so, uh, yeah. So uh, we we just read that. You know, uh, you know the few verses. Uh, uh, and uh, so uh, you know, and then uh, so as uh, we saw a lot of time, you know, people. Uh, still worship the sun or the moon, even now. Even now, you know, uh, yeah, I give you some example, okay, solid example. Even now, so like in a, a country in the east, I mean, uh, the far east, they they actually worship the sun. Uh, I'm not making it up, you know. Their oh, yeah. their monarch, their monarchy, their monarchy is supposed to be the descendant of the sun, you know. So. Uh, this is uh this is one of the uh, Shinto shine shine that uh, uh you know that one present the goddess sun uh that is in uh, uh Gaozhou, you know Kyushu you know that's uh one of those uh, original early Shinto shine that uh, lasted a uh, uh, couple thousand years you know so so that is the basis of their 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 uh, uh native religions you know in other words their monarchy their 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 center of worship is uh because uh they 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 believe you know the 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 uh the country is uh from the from the sun goddess and uh, so you know they still uh, act out you know in their in their shinto uh uh um you know uh in uh, in the some of those are old older older shrine you know so so it's a worship of sun you know they might not. They might say, "Oh, uh, we it's uh, it's just a religion, you know." Yeah, but but the God is very serious about that because uh, in order for them to turn to Jesus, uh, they have to abandon that, you know, the the uh, worship of their their own you know religion, you know, because religion is not is not for real, but uh, it's uh, interfere with their relationship with the God and man, you know. God, Jesus, come, uh, Emmanuel. To become to so God and man can come together, but the false religion, you know, like worship the sun or the moon or something like that, that yeah. is that's uh, interfering, uh, you know, their mind and uh, so they uh, until they 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 have a uh, you know change a uh, repent from from uh, to to Jesus, you know how how can how can they be saved, right? So you know that is that is uh, in other words. Uh, it's not just Moses talk. Uh, the 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 worship of the sun and the moon is still now in the modern society. You know, in uh, some of those uh, countries uh, that they do that now. And uh, so uh, you know, there's uh, another one is called uh, you know they 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 do in the like in the Middle East in the Middle East uh, before they have the uh, modern religions. You know, one of the 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 uh, worship is the moon. You know, so in the Middle East, uh, before the the Islam, before the Christianity, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, uh people in the Middle East they worship the moon. 
that's why you know they they uh, they have uh, they found all this you know, uh -huh. and then even even the Arabs know that you know that before they have um, Christianity and before they have uh, uh, Muslims you know then uh, you know that in the Babylon uh, I you know they have the the crescent moon uh, that that's part of their their worship um, you know they they talk about that in their their newspaper and all that but you know all the uh, uh, just because uh, they now have a, a, a newer religion doesn't mean that they have abandoned uh, all that uh, totally, you know, at least uh, symbolically uh, it's, it's still around. Uh, I give you an example, you know, in fact, uh, if you look at, uh, you know, the um, uh, some of those uh, religious uh, uh, buildings, uh, you know, they, they, they still have uh, put, uh, put on their crescent, crescent on, on the top of the of their uh, structure, you know, and uh, so you know, there apparently there are there are things you know that uh, uh you know, and and uh, actually that uh, kind of influence, you know, they they might not uh, uh you know accept uh, that uh, they would still worship the moon, but actually in their in in their in their symbolism in their flags, uh, in their in their religious symbols, uh, they still have uh, all these uh, sun moon and. And uh, so you know, it kind of affect their their life. You know, uh, you know they they might deny it, but you know, but actually in their subconscious mind, they are actually still doing it. But is it just the Middle East and uh, you know, yeah, like some countries, you know, and the Far East? It's not. It is actually uh, uh you know, actually it's a uh, kind of common, uh in uh, in all they do, um you know it is uh, common in actually all countries. In all countries, think about that. Uh, you know, if you look at the flag, and then uh, you would, uh, uh, you can realize, you know, uh, because the flag uh, represent uh, uh, something, uh, uh, you know, that uh, you know is the standard of the of the country. Flag is the standard of the countries, and then in the flag, you know, a lot of times, you know, they they use a symbol, and they don't realize, you know, those uh, those are uh, actually. Uh, uh, you know, in some way, you know, it uh, bring about the religious feeling, but also bring that, uh, bring up that uh, the fact that they actually kind of worship uh, their country or their government, uh, like a religion also. So in verse nineteen or chapter four, you know, it talk about, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, you know, this idea, you know, and uh, so uh, can uh, Gerard read for us, uh, 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 chapter four, verse nineteen of Deuteronomy. And needs thou lift up thy eyes unto heaven, and when thou see the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the host of heaven should be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. Yeah, so uh, in other words, uh, uh, you know, you, you find out, you know, there's a lot of flag that have crescent moon, a lot of flag uh, they have uh, stars, you know, even uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the flag of USA, you know, that uh, you know they are supposed to represent the states, you know, and uh, to think about that, you know, in some way, you know, a lot of time, you know, um, you know, uh, the government is um, uh, or the or the country or the authority somehow uh, also, you know, uh, is uh, it has a co-op, you know. Uh, you know the uh, part of their religion. You know it. They say uh, the 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 state or the country represent uh, uh, we, uh you know some somewhat like a uh, pseudo religions. Uh, even their buildings, you know, uh, have uh, some uh you know idea of the re religious uh, you know impression uh, in their in their in their national life. Uh, but anyway, so uh well you know uh so uh what do we see? Uh, so far, you know, uh, what we see is um, uh, some of those uh, uh, words that are, uh, you know, like God hate or abomination, uh, abominable, is uh, is uh, the uh, is uh, it's happened frequently in those uh, 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 books of Moses in uh, Leviticus, in the Deuteronomy, and uh, so so uh, it turned out, you know, in the law of Moses. Uh, there's a lot of things you know that are mentioned about what God hate, and uh, so uh, of course uh, in New Testament uh, it's not so much, 
And uh, so, uh, you know, we need to uh, have some idea, you know, uh, what's the difference between new and old covenant. Like, uh, one of the thing is uh, God, uh, he, uh, is, uh, you know, that he wants to make sure that uh, there's no false witness, false witness, uh, you know, so we have to have uh, two or three, you know, to, to, uh, to, to, to bring, to, uh, to, to show, you know, that uh, uh, some, some, uh, some scene, you know, some, uh, uh, you know, have to have uh, two or three witnesses, cannot be one. Uh, and then uh, also, and then uh, if uh, this is the case, the, the witness that, uh, uh, you know, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, try to, uh, you know, convict other people, and uh, they have to be also participate in uh, in the judgment. In other words, uh, they cannot be uh, just uh, accused and go. You know, some some people will, uh, talk about is a uh, lie, fire and forget. You know, in other words, uh, you can accuse people and then you go away, uh, hiding. You know, so so you know the the the, the Bible say you know if uh, uh, if uh, there are two or three witnesses, uh, you know then uh, then uh, someone uh, can be put to death. But you know, uh, it it is also have to be the witness have to participate in the in the uh the hand uh to to uh to put the uh, people to death. You know, they they have to be the one that uh you know be there, uh be part of the judgment. You know, they cannot uh, just uh, accuse somebody and then hide away. You know, but you know, in the in the uh gospel of John, you know, uh the scribes and Pharisees try to. Uh, you know, um, uh, bring uh, you know, uh, show show off to uh, Jesus, the you know, because the scribes and Pharisees are the lawyer, and uh, so they brought a woman uh, in idolatry, and uh, so this is the story about the uh, the uh, encounter of uh, the lawyers against Jesus. Uh, can uh, Gerard read for us the blue blue thing? And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what says you, thou? This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stood down and with his finger roll on the ground as throw the throw, and though he hurt them not. So when they continue asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, And that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and rolled on the ground, and they which heard it being convicted by their own concerns, concerns, went out one by one, beginning at the oldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. Mm, thank you, thank you. So, uh, so uh, you know, they were trying to tempt, you know, challenge Jesus uh, because Jesus. Uh, even though there are a lot of sinners came to him and uh, a lot of prostitutes or even a lot of traitor, you know, like tax collector and, and um, you know, the enemy, like uh, the, the Roman soldiers, you know, uh, Jesus never judged them. But, you know, turn out, you know, the scribes and Pharisees uh, really hate Jesus because, uh, you know, they, uh, they, uh, they want to be harsh on, on a particular, like this woman. But you know, uh, this this, uh, this was meant to uh, to uh, try to show show Jesus, you know, they know the law and uh, uh, you know, and Jesus, uh, you know, whether he he can handle. But the the fact of matter is, uh, they only bring one 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 person, the woman. What happened to the man? You know, if they caught the the adultery in the act, that means there's a man and a woman, and shouldn't have been the woman. The woman is the weaker person. That they can catch, and uh, it might actually be the, the 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 man that was in adultery is a is a friend of the scribes, 
and Pharisees, you know, and, uh, you know, in those days, um, uh, you know, uh, let it be known, you know, that uh, the scribes and Pharisees, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, they, they uh, visit the, you know, uh, prostitution and, and uh, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, uh, who are they? You know, they, they, you think uh, they are, they are holy people, you know, of course not. Uh, but they only know God's word and they, they like to challenge Jesus. But anyway, so as a result, when Jesus say, you know, that let the one uh, that have no sin uh, cast the first uh, stone and then end up, you know, the old, older one and the, even the younger one, they all left because, uh, you know, they have, they all have seen, you know, as, as you know. So, uh, of course, you know, that, that is, uh, you know, uh, showing, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, you know, how uh, the Old Testament people judge, uh, you know, by, uh, by LAW and how Jesus, uh, you know, Jesus uh, is, is, you know, what uh, came to this world, you know, first time is uh, to, to, to save and uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, you know, give us uh, salvations for eternity, for eternal life. So, uh, you know, there is a uh, mention about, you know, the uh, you know, worst one, you know, that, uh, you know, the uh, talk about, you know, the, the animals that are to be sacrificed have to have, uh, you know, uh, it have to be perfect, have to be perfect, you know. And of course, uh, the high priest would check that, you know, the priest uh, would make sure there's no blemish, but who know? Because, uh, you know, how, how can uh, one know for sure, you know, that, that is, um, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, the perfect animals, you know, uh, in order in order to to be acceptable acceptable. Um, uh, but the fact is, uh, you know, there's uh, the Old Testament comparison and the perfect sacrifice in the New Testament. Uh, so I'm going to ask you about to read both. Okay. What is not abomination? Thou shalt not sacrifice. Unto the Lord thy God any bullock or sheep, wherein is blemish, or any evil favor, favorness, for that is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit, offer himself with those spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Mm, amen, amen. So, so you know the Old Testament, uh, they rely on the animals, uh, to uh to uh to be the sin offerings to to uh to cleanse uh, their their life, you know, to to uh get, you know so that uh, they can uh stay on a good uh, uh standing with uh, God uh, in heaven. But you know the the fact of matter is, uh. You know they might spend uh, a a long time you know uh, in the market uh, to find that uh, uh you know that the uh, sheep and then uh, or the ram uh, lamb you know or something like that and um uh, and then uh, they will argue for the price and and uh, try to get the, the best deal you know from the market but you know the 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 fact of matter is um uh, they can spend a long time you know or uh if they have money you know to uh to uh, get the best uh, from the market, but who is to know? You know that uh, uh, you know that animal is uh, actually perfect inside and outside. You know, no one knows. You know, uh, but uh, you know that is the best they can do. And uh, but uh, but in God's eyes, you know, they, they, according to this, in other words, uh, if they have blemish, uh, they have uh, you know maybe uh, you know. Uh, 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 um, Something you know, I don't know. You know, <laughs> all kind of blemish uh, is possible in, you know, in animals, and um, and uh, so you know, you, you never know if the sacrifice is uh, perfect according to uh, God's uh, standard. But you know, in the New Testament, it's different. Our our our, our Jesus, the blood of Christ is is uh, without spot. And so, you know, he is a son of God himself. He offered himself to be the uh, the sacrifice. And, uh, and uh, you know, this is a full the uh, Holy Spirit offer himself with, uh, without any spot to God. And then so, you know, it, you, can, you can believe that yeah, it can 
expands all your conscience from all the dead words uh, in your life, you know, past, present, and future to serve so that we can actually serve God. In other words, uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, is a way superior, superior uh, sacrifice, you know, that Jesus Christ, uh, his God himself, you know, present himself to be the, the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, so very different, you know. Otherwise, you know, you, you think uh, you can rely on the animal, you can burn a, a thousand uh, a, a lamb or uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, the biggest cow, you know, or something like that. Uh, but still, you know, you don't know if uh, it's uh, enough to to uh, um, atone for your sin or atone for your shortcoming. And uh, because uh, none of us are perfect, you know, for that matter. And uh, so, you know, where, where can you find the perfect animals, right? You know. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's uh, such a thing. Uh, and uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, we have talked about the sun and moon and uh, you know, uh, or any host of the heavens that, uh, you know, they are not supposed to worship. But you know, of course, uh, now we have the the new covenant. The new covenant is uh, is such that you know uh, uh, it's uh, very different. So I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read the, this portion that uh, I have shaded. You know, so this okay. is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, know the, know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities. Will I remember no more? In that, his yeah. continue. Yeah, a new a new covenant he has made the first O. Now that which decay and wax O is ready to vanish away. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. So in other words, you know, in the uh, new new covenant, you know, there's the new covenant there's now. Uh, you know, with the house of Israel. Now, of course, uh, you know, when he talked about the house of Israel, he's really talking about the church, okay? And and so, you know, this uh, house, this uh, new house of Israel, the new covenant, is, uh, is uh, really a, a spiritual relationship, you know? Our God, our, 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 our Lord is our God, and then we are the children, and we are the people of God. And uh, so... And uh, because uh, we have, have the Holy Spirit, so, uh, you know, we have the unction, you know, that uh, we, we actually, uh, uh, even inside of us, you know, somehow we can actually be, uh, know and believe, you know, the truth uh, because of the Holy Spirit. In, in other words, yeah, even though we have a preacher, we have a pastor, we have, a, uh, you know, uh, uh, teachers, but, in, in fact, you know, the, somehow, you know, in our, our mind, in our, in our uh, 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 soul, uh, we already have the Holy Spirit that teach us in all things. Uh, so when we, you listen to the truth, and then you would uh, easily agree with it, you know, because it is uh, from the inside of you, the Holy Spirit is the fountain of, um, of the wisdom and the teachings. And... Uh, and then also very important point is uh, in verse 13, he said, uh, in that uh, he said a new covenant, he had made the first old. In other words, the, the old covenant, the, 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 the law of Moses uh, is uh, replaced by the new uh, law of uh, uh, Jesus. Uh, it's the, 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 the law of uh, love and the law of liberty, the law of love and the uh, law of liberty. So, so uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, we, we have, uh, you know, one of the things that we want to also talk about is uh, like uh, uh, 
uh, last week uh, last week we already talked about that and uh, it is uh, the reason why the um, the uh, uh, children in Israel you know for the past uh, 2000 years uh, they couldn't believe in Jesus too much uh, because the rabbis keep the uh, some of the Bible words uh, chapters like for example uh, they skip uh, chapter 53. They skip chapter 53, like, like, like this week is often, right? And then uh, next week is uh, another Torah portion. And uh, they would, uh, you know, uh, uh, cover Isaiah 51, 52, some part of it, but uh, they would skip the Isaiah 53 because Isaiah 53 is uh, very much about the Messiah. And so, uh, you know, uh, I found out that uh, the reason why a lot of um, uh, Jewish people that uh, they couldn't believe in Jesus Christ is because they follow the rabbi. They they read the uh, read the uh, uh, rabbi book of rabbis rather than they read the Bible. So they don't re really read the Bible. They they follow whatever the rabbi tell them to. So uh, for example, you know, so uh, uh, they actually. Uh, turn out, you know, the rabbi tell them in uh, in their selection, uh, don't read Isaiah fifty three. It's not for you, you know. So um, so believe they believe in what the rabbi tell them. They 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 in their book of rabbis, you know, they 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 say, oh oh, uh, don't read this, you know. That's why you know they skip some verses and they skip some 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 chapters, and so as a result, you know, nowadays, you know, uh, the reason why some uh, Jews uh, now become Christian is uh, they found out, oh, Isaiah 53 is about Jesus, the, the Messiah, you know, it's a Jewish Messiah. So as a result, you know, they, they came to Jesus uh, uh, because uh, they now, you know, have, have read the Isaiah 53 because uh, last 2000 years, uh, their rabbi tell them, don't, don't, don't read that, you know, those are, those are not for you, you know, so, so they, be, they follow the rabbi rather than uh, you know, just like they follow the Moses, they follow Moses. Uh, now they, uh, I, I mean, uh, so so they somehow follow the rabbi. You know, they so as a result, they couldn't uh, find out about Jesus. So uh, you know, I, I think uh, as a result, you know, uh, uh, we should uh, read a uh, part of the uh, Isaiah fifty three, uh, just so that uh, we we can uh, appreciate. You know, this uh, whole whole chapter is about Jesus. Uh, uh, Gerard, can you read uh, uh, you know, these uh, seven verses? Okay. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of thy ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. Com and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, it, hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his strips we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was outpasted and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, this uh, there's a lot of stuff about uh, you know Messiah, and uh, actually, 
uh, you know, he surely he had borne out grief, you know, actually the term in Hebrew is sickness and carry out pain, you know, our sorrows. And uh, so, you know, there's a lot of deep things, you know, about our Lord Jesus. Uh, he did that in his uh, ministry on earth, but uh, actually this is not just talking about his uh, life on earth, but uh, even now, you know, Jesus uh, by his uh, finished work, uh, you know, have, you know, have, uh, you know, all, uh, all these uh, spiritual things are available. Uh, but of course, uh, we have to turn to him, you know, it's not uh, to your pastor, it is not uh, to your church, it is to uh, our Lord Jesus, that uh, uh, signs and miracles, um, you know, uh, by his uh, His work on, on the cross, uh, did it for us. So, uh, uh, yes, uh, so in the New Testament, in the uh, uh, you know the the time. Uh, so uh, I'm going to uh, ask uh, Gerard to read the blue portion. You know, in the uh, uh, book of Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, uh, the uh, the two verses. Okay, when the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed, po and with possessed possessed them with evils, and he cast out the spirit with his word, and healed all that were sick that it might be fulfilled with which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bear our sickness. Mm, thank you, thank you. Sicknesses. So, yes. So, uh, so uh, you know, the, the, uh, the New Testament, you know, uh, you know, is uh, reported co correctly uh, about Jesus uh, heal all the sicknesses and also bear our, sickness, uh, our, our, our sicknesses. So, uh, you know, this is uh, all, all in the Old Testament and New Testament uh, scripture about Jesus himself. Uh, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, we, we uh, are going to talk about, you know, some, some of the things that uh, happened, uh, you know, like last, last year's, uh, you know, in a retrospect, you know, uh, you know, because uh, obviously, you know, in um, uh, we have talked about you know many of the disasters that happened last year, uh, you know, including the uh, uh, Maui fire. But there was uh, this uh, storm. The storm, uh, you know, also happened. You know, because uh, today is uh, September six, and uh, the storm happened uh, last year, uh, in about the same time from uh, September fourth to twelfth. You know, the storm's name is called Daniel. Is uh, happened in the Mediterranean uh, uh, area. So uh, it hit uh, uh, many countries. Uh, you know, you have Turkey here, the Greece here, and then uh, also uh, in the. Uh, so what happened was uh, it hit the Greece first. You know, so the Greece, uh, all the river were flooded, and uh, fully flooded, and then uh, you know there's a lot of property damage and so forth. And then after it hit the Greece, and then it uh, uh, turned uh, across the. Uh, uh, the Greek Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, to hit uh, Libya, and uh, so you know in in the in the Arab uh, newspaper he said uh, the storm Daniel is moving with full force to Libya and threatening other Arab countries. You know all these Arab countries are nearby; they were all hit. So what was the result? What was the result? What happened was that uh, Greece have uh, people died, and then uh, uh, the property damage was uh, like two billion dollars. That is already great, but uh, actually Turkey and Bulgaria also have, uh, uh, you know, uh, people die. You know, not many, but uh, still. But then it hit Libya. Libya is uh, they have uh, something. Um, they they this is a low estimate. You know, they said fifty nine thousand twenty three plus. You know, because uh, something is uh, more like ten thousand people die. Uh, and then, uh, you know, 19 billion, you know, so in other words, uh, there's a really a heavy, heavily damaged, you know, the, the city of uh, Libya is, uh, I mean, uh, the country is already uh, still at war, you know, they have civil war there, uh, you know, they try to, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 you know, two, two, two parties are trying to uh, take over the countries and, but, you know, but, but, the, but the storm, you know, the cyclone, actually damaged so, so much uh, in the city of Durham, you will remember, you remember, uh, you know, and then uh, this is one of the picture because uh, there was so much flood, 
and uh, some of the dam will uh, collapse. And uh, so as a result, uh, one of the capital city, during, uh, you know, uh, you know, all these apartments uh, and the store um, and the downtown, you know, they were all damaged, except the main malls, the main malls. You know, it's a very odd. Uh, this is very much uh, similar, much uh, similar to uh, 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 in the uh, year uh, 2004, 2004, you know, that, uh, you know, that also happened in uh, Sumatra, in Indonesia, because uh, they have one of the biggest uh, 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 tsunamis. And so many of the coastal cities were wiped out. But, you know, uh, in uh, different cities, you know, somehow the malls uh, remain standing, remain standing. So, you know, uh, you know, this is uh, kind of odd, you know. The trees, uh, the, the, the houses are gone, the, the downtowns are gone, you know, the Main Street are gone, and the people are gone. But uh, the some of the trees apparently uh, remain standing, and the and the and the and the religious uh, building also. So uh, you know this is uh, you know uh, something uh, to ponder about. You know, did uh, did the religion save them? You know, and sadly, you know many something like a hundred and seventy thousand people, uh, you know, from the island of Sumatra, uh, you know, uh, living in those uh, coastal city. Uh, they will kind of uh, disappear. They they perish in the tsunamis, and uh, so. Uh, but going back, you know, you uh, we talk about the Maui fire. You know, Maui fire. You know, there's a uh, a few hundred people die. You know, and then uh, thousands of uh, property uh, were damaged, and uh, basically the the whole uh, in, uh, you know cap capital build uh 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 co co you know um. Uh, the uh, the capital of the uh, old kingdom, uh, and uh, you know at that time it's a resort, you know the resort of all the Hawaiian, uh, you know uh, travel, and uh, but the but the but the uh, Catholic church survived. Actually, it's not really just the Catholic church. There's also a Baptist church, also survived. So, what's what's that? Uh, uh, you know uh, to do well. The the fact of matter is uh, we don't. Worship the sun, we don't worship the moon, but uh, even religions, even religions uh, can be a problem. You know, uh, like for example, I, I, I'm going to share with you this uh, just so uh, uh, you, you heard about in, uh, in uh, uh, Georgia, there was a mass shooting and uh, four people died and then many people get hurt. You, know, you remember that uh, in the school, uh, you know, this is the Georgia shooting in school. And uh, so, what happened was uh, there were 10 shootings in Georgia just this year uh, in school. And uh, so out of 200 some, you know, uh, the Georgia have um, more than its share of uh, killing uh, in school. But uh, you wonder why, right? Well, you know, the reason why uh, is uh, because Georgia is uh, one of those uh, places where they, uh, uh, you know, uh, put their uh, 10 commandments in the Capitol building. It's not a stone tablet, but uh, they put it on the hallway. So uh, every time, uh, every morning um, or every afternoon, uh, they, they pass by the corridor. Uh, you know, all these uh, 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 local, uh, I mean, state uh, legislator, they, uh, they would see uh, that 10 commandments you know, that they, they promote, they, they pass. And uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, as uh, we, we talk about, the Ten Commandments, uh, you know, were supposed to be holy, and the Ten Commandments is holy things, and they're not supposed to show it off, uh, just to show that uh, they are more, uh, you know, uh, holy than other people. You know, Ten Commandments is, uh, uh, you know, bring uh, death and, uh, uh, you know, and and uh, and then the stress on uh, on on their city and on their state. You know, uh, you know, the fact is, uh, and you know, that's the reason. You know, uh, you probably know. You know, uh, you know the Georgia have, uh, uh, you know, along with the uh, 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 South, uh, you know, they have more uh, sickness and death uh, in uh, many kinds. You know, uh, and uh, like for example, the firearm, the firearm, uh, yeah, and uh, you know, it, it's uh, is uh, mainly in the in the in the South. You know, the top top uh, uh, firearm death is uh, mainly in the South. Yeah, so Mississippi, Louisiana, da 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 da, and 
Georgia is not the top 10, but, uh, but uh, you know, they, they are actually among the higher number. Anyway, so uh, uh, I I would think you know uh, this is about time you know uh, we're going to uh, you know uh, finish the the, the uh, uh, but uh, you know uh, I'm going to ask Gerard to read for us uh, this uh, X uh, chapter twenty uh, you know the few verses about the, uh, the one of the last time Paul have um, a holy communion in in his uh, journey uh, oh. you know uh, in the X or apostle okay. And upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow, and continue his speech until midnight. And there were many lights in the upper chamber, where they were gathered together. And there sat in the window a certain young man named Eurycus, yeah. being fallen into a sleep, a deep sleep, and as Paul was long preaching, he sunk down with a sleep and fell down from the third loft and was taken up there. And Paul went down and fell on him and embracing him said, Trouble not yourself, for his life is in him. When he therefore was come up again and had broken bread and eaten and talked a long while, even till break of day, so he departed. And they brought to the young man alive and were not a little comforted. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, <laughs> talked about this uh, before, but what happened is, uh, you know, on Sunday, first day of the week, and uh, they, they are supposed to, in the early church, to, to break bread first, you know, in order to have Holy Communion every Sunday. And, uh, but uh, Paul, you know, this is the last time he passed by this uh, city. So, uh, you know, he's a special speaker, you know, he talked about the, the new, new life, the, 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 the New Testament, you know, is uh, all from Paul, right? So, uh, so Paul bring out Jesus, and of course, so uh, you know, and everybody want to listen and all that, and it is in the upper room. Upper room uh, is uh, actually talking about the church, you know, because uh, uh, if uh, you understand the the picture, upper room is uh, talking about the church, and then there are many lights in other words, uh, church life, you know, that that's where you get the lights, you know, and uh, so this is uh, actually a picture. Uh, kind of about our last day uh, church life. Uh, what happened was, yeah, this uh, this man, Eutychus, Eutychus uh, means a uh, good fortune. E-U means uh, good, and then uh, Eutychus means good fortune. But but this guy, uh, you know, he uh, he uh, is not, uh, he tried to follow Paul, but uh, he's not uh, uh, successful, you know, because uh, he uh, fall, fallen asleep, you know. It's just like now there are a lot of church are like that, you know. A lot of church are like that. Uh, they fall asleep and then uh, so they fall down, you know. A lot of people left, you know, the church, church you know. And then so, uh, to the point that uh, a lot of time, you know, in the, in the Western country, in the Western world, a lot of church are closing. Uh, they close the church. Because why? Because uh, uh, they listen to Paul and then uh, they fall asleep, you know. But uh, Paul... Paul, you know, in the person, you know, he went down from third floor and uh, come, you know, you know, and uh, it's really a, a, a God's word through uh, Paul's mouth, you know, the letter to the to the uh, to the churches, and then uh, you know, it bring bring back the life, it bring back the life, and then and then you know, and then um, you know, he went back up, and then you know, uh, so so uh, you know, he he catch up with the chameleon. And the chameleon, and then uh, as a result, you know, uh, the people, uh, you know, uh, can, can listen until the day come, the day they come, the break of day, you know, like like uh, the last day, you know, the the day, uh, the the law come. But you know what? This this is uh, actually talking about the last days, you know, that uh, uh, you have uh, Paul 
helping us uh, to become alive again, uh, understand, uh, you know, uh, what the gospel of grace means, you know, that uh, Jesus uh, would bless us. Uh, not only that, uh, we, we understand the holy chameleon uh, and then uh, it bring out and then uh, and can making sure the young man become alive again, you know. So this is actually a kind of like a picture of the last day church. Uh, but uh, you have to understand, this city was called uh, Choas or Choas or like the Trojan horse. Remember the Trojan horse story? It is uh, the, the backbone of the Greek mythology and also the Roman religion because uh, all the all the Roman religion, all our Roman Empire religion, and all the um, all the Greek mythology, uh, they were uh, 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 a lot that uh, we uh, uh, relying on the city of Troy. You know, Homer wrote a, a long poet poem. You know, and uh, it's uh, supposed to be historic, but uh, it bring out all this uh, Olympia or uh, gods of Olympia, all these uh, Greek gods and the Roman gods. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, like Paul, you know, jump off to Macedonia to, to, uh, to uh, bring the gospel to the West. And, uh, and then uh, this is the last time, you know, he went by towards. And then uh, after this, uh, he won't come back anymore. Uh, and, and by the way, the, the, the city of Troy was uh, uh, destroyed by earthquake. And uh, so uh, they they have not discovered the 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 the, the Troy you know the city of Troy for uh, many hundred years until uh, last century. So so you know this is uh, really uh, talking about is uh, really a picture that uh, you know the people uh, that try to re rely on the Western civilizations, you know because uh, they a uh, uh, long time Roman Empire and the Greek uh, Empire they they were relying on their religion. But the religion have to be uh, turned upside down, and uh, so that uh, uh, you know the Bible, the 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 uh, gospel can can reach out to them, and then so uh, this is kind of like you know you, you if you rely on the Western civilization, you cannot bring out the uh, God's God's uh, word. You cannot bring out the good fortune on them, you know, and uh, so this is the fact is uh, choice is no more. And uh, now we're going to close with a uh, 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 holy communion, okay? Okay. Lord Jesus, uh, thank you for this uh, bread broken for us because uh, this is your flesh, and uh, we partake because of your 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 blessing and uh, your grace. You save us uh, from e uh, uh, for eternal life. Thank you. By your strife, we are healed uh, uh, from every part of our body, and uh, we are healed completely, healed every bit whole. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, uh, thank you for the cup. This cup is the uh, blood of the new covenant that uh, you remember our sin no more and uh, that, that uh, the new covenant replaced the old covenant. And uh, so uh, we are no longer condemned uh, that, that uh, you, there is no more condemnation in Christ Jesus uh, for those who believe. In Jesus' name, we have the righteousness of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, uh, Let's close with a prayer. Dear Lord, uh, thank you. Thank you for the um, uh, the scripture. And I, I pray that uh, the blessing uh, be on everyone. Blessing on uh, all, uh, everyone in the house uh, of, the, of the Lord. That a uh, blessing on uh, Gerard and his family and everywhere uh, uh, in uh, different cities uh, that uh, you bless uh, his family. We have uh, healing, protections, provisions, and shalom peace. But not only for Gerard, but also for all the audience. In the name of Jesus, I at the sound of my voice, I bless uh, uh, you know all the audience in uh, in, uh, in different countries, uh, in uh, different uh, state, uh, in uh, different cities. In the name of Jesus, uh, I bless them. Uh, you know, and no matter what time in uh, the uh, in the future. In, uh, in the next week, next month, and uh, every time of this year, and also a blessing on their families in the name of Jesus Christ. And amen and amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. You. See you. See you next time. Thank you. Amen. Good night. Good night.